We have a large cohort of patients who are discharged from ICU every day and some of them thrive and go on and do well and others actually need closer supervision from the intensive care team. What if we could predict the patients that really needed the support and who would benefit the most? About 1 in 20 patients gets readmitted back to the unit. What we were hoping to do is, is kind of streamline that process a little bit. At any one point in time in ICU, patients are monitored for their heart rate, their blood pressure, their temperature, their oxygenation, their urine output. Until fairly recently, we haven't had the capacity to join those databases together. And we knew that if we could do the statistical modelling on enough patients, then we could do a predictive risk tool. My role was actually to get the data, like to actually do the data integration and to link the data and to test the data together with, you know, to make sure that everything was integrated properly with the, you know, information that we need. If we can identify these patients that are at low risk of deteriorating after discharge, then they will continue to be cared for in the ward by their home team, but it won't necessarily require a follow-up by uh, an intensive care specialist and a senior registrar. We now know which patients to target for more follow-up to prevent any deterioration, prevent the need for them to come back to the intensive care. What I was able to do this morning was literally open up the list of patients on the computer screen in front of the patient with the nurse and up came an assessment of that person's risk. We can act before. It will actually help to prevent patients from further deteriorations. And it also sort of gives us a, a sense of confidence about potentially discharging someone to a lower intensity of observation and have some obje objectivity about doing it. We're fortunate enough to be granted $100,000 to make uh, this project real and you can see that if we can manage to prevent four readmissions to the unit that we've ultimately um, paid for itself. This is a first for Australia.